Yolo, what does that even mean? You only live once. I don't get it. That's the motto, baby, Yolo. Okay, nope, that's enough. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. 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 And in the bottom we have the red terran. Mar Master Mars. No, no, the dyslexic little man in my brain is gonna go ahead and call this man Mars for the rest of my life. Um I wonder guys, guys in chat, let me know, do you think we're gonna see the Mars build or do you think we're gonna see something a little non standard for Mr. Mars? <laughs> you always look We're going to see the Dalton build. The Dalton build beats all, man. Like <laughs> this is the omniscient build. Mm -hmm. They just like, it just like cuts the internet connection of any opponent instantaneously. Or have a child in the Bad music like Drake. Drake, Drake isn't terrible music. Yolo is a terrible song. Drake isn't terrible music. Though. Okay, so, see standard commander so far, 15, no, actually this is a pretty early gas for Protoss, probably going back to the Robo build again, we do see a lot of players play. I'd, I'd be pretty surprised to see Ragamime go the same one base, um, three gate Robo. I don't think he's going to go for a one base, well, I would be surprised to see a one base again, but I think he would go for like a two base strat. Maybe get like a two gate robo going and then take an expansion. Oh my god, fun. Actually, he's not taking his gas, but his robo's gonna be delayed. Finally, playing your uh, probes and gas, getting the tall. Barracks down, one gas from the mass. Might see another three racks out of him. Aim and rush too strong. Now, this is Master's game to win. If he isn't able to go ahead and pull this game off, Ooh, we are seeing a reactor first. I do think we're going to go ahead and see the Mars bill come up next. And I'm a little worried because uh, because what? if Ragged Mime sees this, he may know exactly how to defend it. One second Rax goes down, and I do think the third Rax is getting going to get placed. Why is he keep going with this? This three Rax, it's not that strong. If, like, unless he goes for a really fast expansion, which... He's actually teching up right now, taking the second gas. Definitely gonna go for a robo now. As soon as he can afford another yeah, we, we Yes, we might see a very similar scenario play out yeah, as last this, game. I feel like Master's gonna probably lose this. He's gonna get up this ramp. Unless he has, he has this... This probe's gonna get up this ramp and see this reactor and should know what's up. There goes the robo right there. Now, a little background story on Mr. Mars, as I keep calling him. He actually got this game about two weeks ago. Went ahead and played in the in the f uh, first official TeamBCN.net bronze open house. And got pretty... He actually, I think he may have gotten almost to the semifinals. And, um, and unfortunately, I do think... And unfortunately, did get knocked out. Um, actually, no, he, yeah, he did get to the finals. And got knocked out by X14. A little spoiler there for you guys. We are we are actually seeing the uh, the double tech lab, which means we are seeing the uh, the Mars build go down. And um, and so yeah, Mars Mars he's new to the game, but he is already he does have a game plan going into this game. Looks like. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like since he did last game, Dragon Mine is definitely going to know how to defend it again with sentries. Pumping out Zells right now, which isn't a bad idea. Because I, I don't know if he for sure knows what's going on, but as soon as he sees, as soon as he notices this reactor or the tech lab, as soon as he starts pumping units out of this uh, robo, he'll know what's going on. Yeah, Ragamine hasn't really even scouted the natural. Not too much scouting going down for both opponents, except for this orbital I assume is going to go ahead and plop down on the main. And I wonder if once he gets the scan off, if he's going to go ahead and just go directly into a command center once he sees a very similar army composition as what was able to deter the Mars build last time. I really doubt it. This is a very all-in build, so he can't really afford pumping out these units and taking an expansion. Because 
He's just pumping out units way too fast. And it just right. looks like we're going to see an almost identical engagement as last game. But we, yeah. but I but I but I wonder if one of the players are going to go ahead and switch it up and try and uh, try and uh, use the information that they get to their advantage. But actually, this time, I don't know if um, this Ragmine is going to scout it in time. Like this, these units should be moving out as soon as this observer actually gets out. So he's not going to see it in time. He still hasn't made, actually, three sentries are out. He should be really safe now that these sentries are out. And then second mortal is coming, so he should be fine. Yeah, I think I think if he stays on one base, Ragamime is gonna will be able will have a huge advantage to defend this push. But I think yeah. right now, if Mars knows sees this composition, sees the row, sees the three plus gates, that he could go ahead and just cut unit production, put down that command center, and then could catch the natural Mars's natural off guard once Mars decides to take it. There goes Observer actually seeing this force move yeah. out. Do you think Mars saw that observer go over his go over his uh go by his units? I don't know. Either way, he saw the force move out. He he sees the same exact build. He most likely is just going to defend this and it's going to be over. Yeah, I'd love to see him poke into the natural, see nothing there, and just walk away and put down a command center. But the thing is, he can't really do that right now. Like he can't put down a command center because he has to keep pumping out units, or the Protoss is going to out out um max him or um just out army him and he can't go back this is a really all-in situation there's like a four day basically for a turn you have to rely on your opponent for messing up to, to be winning this it's really like what oh my god this is a great position for the long term actually These units gonna go ahead and go mono a mono. These immortals yeah, putting in a ton of work, but now it's on up to Mars to go ahead and rush up this ramp. Definitely a bad position for Dragon Miner, but Mars actually coming back up the ramp really wasn't smart. He's gonna probably lose him that game right now. Because he's gonna he's gonna come back and he only has three Marines out right now on the field. Another two Marines and two Marauders on the way out. But this that's not enough to come up with these immortals. These immortals aren't going to have any of that. Yeah, with that, with that victory, Mars. I mean, Ragamime is going to go ahead and push, and I don't. Yeah, I don't think the Rax production is going to be enough to go ahead and go ahead and keep him yeah. now. He could try and camp up this ramp, bring up all his SCVs, and barely hold or just delay, just delay the inevitable. Yeah, this is. That's the bad thing about this build. You're really counting on your opponent. So to try and take an expansion win. It's, it's not a great build at all. Correct. Unless you unless you scout it. There's like you base three racks which is a lot better. And it doesn't leave me this open. It's basically like a two gate two base three gate. It's really good. There's the GG. Unfortunately the GG